Hello, this is the first part of video series about video conferencing. Video conferencing is a technology that allows users in different locations to hold face-to-face -face meetings without having to move to a single location together. This video will compare the features of free account holders in three video conferencing solutions, which are Zoom, WebEx Meetings, and Google Meet. Note that the details are based on each product's website and my experience when I used them up until June 17, 2020. Zoom was founded by Eric Kuan in 2011. Unlike other emerging apps, Zoom was at the very beginning intended to be a video conferencing tool. It allows users to talk with or without video. Some of its features are HD video and voice, simultaneous screen share, one-on-one -on -one meetings, group video conferences, and recurring meetings. Its ease of access and simplicity is what attracts users. WebEx Meetings allows you to virtually meet, communicate, and collaborate without leaving the comforts of home. It allows you to meet with HD video, audio, and screen sharing. Google Meet is formerly known as Hangouts Meet. It is the Mountain View company's enterprise video conferencing software that's additional features like larger group calling and live streaming. Real-time captions, screen sharing, call mute, and disabling video while on call. Users find it very light and have a fast interface. The maximum number of attendees for free account holders is 100 in all these tools. For one-to-one -one meetings, Zoom is unlimited. For WebEx, 50 minutes, but accounts created before June 1, 2020 can host meetings with an unlimited duration until July 1, 2020. For Google Meet, one hour, but for today until September 30, 2020, it's 24 hours. The said details apply to group meetings too. For support, Zoom and WebEx users can create ticket for an issue. While Meet, let the user find resources online to solve an issue. Security, Zoom has SSL that provides communication security and privacy over the internet for applications. Zoom can encrypt all presentation content at the application layer using the Advanced Encryption Standard 256-bit algorithm. WebEx has flexible password management capabilities. WebEx has you covered with encryption for data in transit and at rest, along with the option for end-to-end -end encryption if needed. It has robust data center security and role-based access. Google Meet has anti-abuse features, encryption in transit and at rest, two-step verification, and advanced protection program enrollment. It also has ID of meeting that uses codes that are 10 characters long with 25 characters in the set. When starting or joining a meeting, all these three applications allow the users to test the equipment, choose source of video and audio, and turn on or off the video and audio. And that's the first part of our video series about video conferencing tools. Our next video will talk about the different features of these tools. Thank you for watching.